I'm making a fast-paced flight sim game based off one of my favorite games, Ace Online, which is a game that is sadly on its last legs. Logging in reveals that the game is barely cracking 50 concurrent players nowadays, with private servers being more popular than the main game yeah. itself. The art style is also really dated, and it could really just use an overhaul. That's where I come in. <laughs> <laughs> With one week of Unity game development under my belt and having created masterpieces such as Alien Robot Shoots Eggs and this game I irreversibly destroyed, I'm sure making a game like this fast-paced, well-polished, multiplayer MMO is a super doable task. Can I single-handedly revive the genre? Let's find out. I started off development with doing what I do best following a tutorial. <laughs> I didn't just want to yoink a flight controller off the internet because flying was going to be a core aspect of gameplay, so I wanted to have as much fine grain control as possible. I grabbed all the parts I wanted from the tutorial so we can fly now. Nice. You also may have noticed that the plane is just floating in the air. Planes typically do not float in the air because they would fall down. So I added a minimum speed with some thrust control, so if you press W and S, you'll go faster or slower. Once I finished that, I thought, I have so much to do. Oh my god, what's next? So, to ease the dread, I made a list of basics that I wanted the game to have. Back to the game. The camera right now is super stiff, so that's next. I use Cinemachine, which is a pretty good built-in tool for making third-person cameras. The next day. I had something like this working, but I still wasn't happy with it. In Ace Online, the plane actually moves opposite to the direction of your mouse. Another whole day later, I had a script in my hands which dynamically changes some of the values in the camera to do what I want it to do. By the end of it, it actually felt better than the Ace Online camera. So you already know that this is a game about planes, not about flying bricks. So it's time to make a plane model. Now you may remember my last visit with Blender didn't really end too well. So after a few hours, some notes and a mood board, I was ready for some modeling. And a few hours after that, I had a model finished. Let's call him... Steve? After putting Steve into my game, the turning suddenly felt super stiff. I realized that this is because the plane doesn't actually turn like a plane. I pondered this for a while, thinking I had to mess with the camera to make this work. After a while, I had a solution in mind. Literally turn the plane based on how much the plane is turning. And run. Hey, nice. The copying shit off the internet until it works method never fails me. Moving on. Now, the game isn't supposed to be super realistic or anything, but I couldn't help but notice the lack of sick flames coming out the back of Steve's arse. This was actually a big thing in Ace Online. People would mod in their own sick flames in place of the game's ones. After two hours, I had something working. I added boosting, then I made the size of the flame be proportional to the thrust. Whilst I'm on the cool effects bandwagon, I wanted to add some trails to the wings like some fighter jets have. I put Damn, Steve, what did you have for dinner last night in the script? What is this supposed to mean? <laughs> Damn, Steve, what did you have for dinner last night? I spent the next 30 minutes playing with this. Could I have finally created something fun? This was partly due to the fact that I was avoiding the next part of the game, which was missiles. I started by making bots to serve as the target to shoot at. I used the function math.pingpong to move it around the map. I made a terrible missile model in Blender, along with a trail so that we can see where it's going. I then made a script that shoots them out of your wings when you right click. Would you look at that? A script to make the missiles home towards Oops. when you fired them. How long did that take, Brian? How long? I'm curious, Brian. How long? Currently, the missiles are a little bit OP. You see, wherever we are and wherever we are facing, they will just instantly <laughs> home into the enemy. So I got to work adding a little targeting system. I was about halfway through coding this when I once again had the realization that I don't know maps. I had to watch a bunch of tutorials on angles to find out where the enemy is in relation to the player. At this point, I had most of the basic gameplay features ticked off. All that was left was UI. Now, this is a recurring theme in this video by now, but I know nothing about making good UI. So I spent another 20 minutes looking at tutorials. With all the UI elements I was going to have, I should do some planning now, otherwise it could end up looking pretty messy. So before it was too late, I came up with a quick color scheme. Now, when you get close enough, the target lock UI appears. And if you get within the angle you can shoot at, it does a big spinny pulsating thing to tell big monkey brain that you can shoot. 
It kind of broke if we were not facing the enemy though. So as a temporary fix for now, I just made it disappear if we're no longer facing the target. Next up is some sort of nice looking cursor. Two hours later, I had an arrow following my cursor. So now it rotates around the middle of the screen, but not really how I imagined. The next thing was to add some sort of center to the UI, like a circle. Look at this, this literal circle is licensed. This will do for now, and for legal purposes, I made my own circle. The last thing I wanted is some sort of cool speed readout that tells us how fast we're going. So I added a bit of text to the top and multiplied the speed readout value by 10, because to monkey brain, big numbers mean more fun, you know? So I would say we have a nice skeleton of a game here. The question is, where do we go next? I have a nice list of things I'd like to do. Like, you know, actual enemies, multiplayer, maps, making the graphics actually look good, polishing everything that I made in this video, adding special movements like dashes, strafing or teleporting. Also, the game needs a name. So leave suggestions for all of this in the comments. See you next video.